Today on Psy Guys, Electromagnets. Welcome to Psy Guys. I'm Ryan. And I'm Mark. And on today's episode, we're going to be making an electromagnet. Ah, uh, we don't need an electromagnet. I'm attractive and I got an electric personality. That was shockingly bad. You made a joke too. Oh, I did. An electromagnet is created when the magnetic field generated by current traveling through a wire aligns the atoms of a nearby ferrous metal, turning a non-magnetic metal into a magnet. The equipment you're going to need this episode includes a stack of 9 volt batteries, a nail to act as our core, electrical tape, Insulated but not shielded wire, preferably something thin that'll allow us to get more loops on our magnet. And optionally to make things easier, you're also going to need alligator clips. And a wire cutter and stripper to help expose the ends on a wire. The safety equipment we're going to use for this experiment include an apron or lab coat, some insulated gloves, and some goggles. We also recommend for our younger viewers to get help from an adult for things like stripping the wires and anything involving the batteries. The first step in our experiment is to take your nail and your length of wire and begin wrapping your length of wire around your nail. Now you want to leave a little bit of a tail at the end to act as a lead. Also, you don't want to cross the wire over itself. You want to make sure it's a continuous tight spiral around the nail. Continue wrapping the wire around the nail until you have the entire nail covered in wire. Once you have your nail completely wrapped in wire, Use the electrical tape on both ends of your electromagnet to secure the wire to the nail. For the final step, we're going to use some alligator clips to connect our nail to our battery. Take the one end and attach it like so. Then we can prepare one end by attaching it with the alligator clips to the cell. And then as soon as we make the last connection, the electromagnet will be turned on. With only one battery attached to our electromagnet, we're able to pick up objects about the size of a large paperclip. But we want a stronger electromagnet than that. To create a stronger electromagnet, start by taping together six batteries, positive to positive and negative to negative, like so. Now you're going to need two lengths of wire. Expose enough of the wire with your wire strippers so that you have exposed wire that can be wrapped between the positive side with one wire and the negative side with the other. Next, take one of your wires and weave the exposed end of your wire through the prongs of the negative side of our battery. Once you have that done, use the electrical tape to tape our wire securely to our batteries. Take your second wire and repeat the weaving pattern on the positive side of our battery. Once that is done, securely tape down this side as well. Now with our electromagnet and newly formed chain of batteries connected together, we're able to pick up much heavier items than we were before. Let's look at this experiment a little closer. A magnet like the one you find on your refrigerator door is created by aligning all of its atoms in the same direction. Having all the atoms in alignment generates a magnetic field which causes a pull at the north pole and a push at the south pole. Alternatively, a magnet can be created out of a piece of non-magnetic metal by harnessing the magnetic field generated by an electrical current. A magnet created using this method is called an electromagnet. When we connect our wire to a battery, we create a flow of negatively charged electrons which travel from the negative to the positive side of our battery. This flow is called an electrical current. As an electrical current flows through a wire, it generates a magnetic field. In our experiment, the current or flow of electrons traveling through a wire wrapped around our nail generates a magnetic field which aligns the atoms that make up our nail, turning our non-magnetic nail into an electromagnet. The direction of the magnetic field in our electromagnet can be figured out by using the right hand rule. The right hand rule states that if the fingers on your hand are curled around the coil of wire with your thumb pointing in the direction of the electrical current, then your fingers will be pointing in the direction of the magnetic field. The end of the magnet that your thumb will be pointing at is the north pole of the electromagnet, and it's the side that pulls metals toward it. Several factors affect the strength of an electromagnet. The type of metal used has a huge impact on how strong of a magnet is created. Metals which are good electrical conductors like iron and cobalt make excellent electromagnets. A poor conductor like aluminum make for terrible electromagnets. The number of loops around your nail and the amount of current traveling through your coiled wire also affect the strength of a magnet. The more coils that will fit around our nail, the stronger the magnet will be. Also, 
When we connect multiple batteries in series, we generate more current or a greater number of electrons traveling through a wire. This increase in current causes more magnetic waves, generating a stronger magnetic field, and consequently, the stronger our electromagnet will be. Well, that's it for electromagnetism. Thanks for watching. And if you enjoyed this episode, let us know in the comments below and subscribe for future episodes. Remember to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. And if you have any questions related to this episode or about science in general, let us know in the comments below or message us on Facebook and we'll try to help you out as best possible. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye. Here at SciGuys, we're always curious how experiments turn out. So if you do these experiments at home, share a video or photo of them with us on our Facebook or Google Plus page. But remember to always ask your parents' permission before you share any photos or videos.